I got the pitch to do an interview with you and I was honestly so excited because I personally love it when like adult film stars and adult content creators do things outside of the box. And you have been loving music. You've been wanting to do music for so long. And especially this message about embracing who you really are and your gender fluidity. Why did you want to create this new song? Well, I've been uh, an entertainer for quite a while since like the early 2000s. And and most people don't know that about me because they're just now discovering who I am. Um, but throughout my whole career, you know, I I was put in a place and they're like, well, um, if you, you want to appeal to a broader audience, you got to stop doing this, stop doing that. And so I would do those things, but then they wouldn't work. So then I would go back to being more of myself and they would say, well, that's okay, but it's not quite enough. Can you build it more? And I was like, I don't know what to do with this point. And, you know, you, you run out of money and you, but you keep trying and you, and so like, that's how the, the idea for this song came along. It's like, I can't, I can't please anybody. So I'm just gonna do my best to be myself. And that's how that line, like, I don't need you to love me and I expect you to hate me. You know, cause I, every time I hit the submit button on an audition of anything, it's like, oh, they're not gonna like this. What am I doing? But, mm -hmm. but you know, you bounce back and you, you just keep moving forward. I feel like I might be blacklisted from porn. The reasons, I don't know why. You know, I've asked so many people and done so much uh, digging, trying to figure out, well, what is it about me they don't like? And um, I realized, you know what, screw it. I don't, I don't need to do studio porn. If I do, I do. If I don't, I don't. And, um, a lot of the, the lyrics are actually about like just the response from the porn industry. <laughs> Even though it's a song about empowering yourself and being feminine. <laughs> you get like all these thoughts in your head and you're like, okay, you start questioning, am I doing this right? And then you gotta just stop and say, you know, it, you gotta listen to what this is saying. Is this saying you're doing the right thing or not? And that's how you move forward. I've actually been doing escorting since I was um, in my early 20s. That's how I funded all my music projects. Do you enjoy doing porn? Like, obviously it's brought money to you, which is good, but do you actually enjoy it? Like, that's, I think, kind of the big question. <laughs> uh, I love it. Like, honestly, you help me build my confidence sexually. You know, this, this is boobs, man. I mean, come on. <laughs> These are, they call them titties. My nickname is Titties to some of my clients, so. <laughs> <laughs> Knowing that there might be somebody who watches this music video and they see this very butch masculine man wearing this dress saying, I'm going to live my life and I'm going to identify how I want to identify. How incredible does that make you feel knowing that you might be helping somebody out there? I love it. That was like one of the main reasons I started, you know, gender bending openly, you know, because at that time people were still telling me, keep it straight, keep it metrosexual. And I was like, no. I'm gonna do this because this is who I am and it's gonna inspire other people to be who they are. I love when I get the messages about, oh, I tried a dress on for the first time or oh, I tried some stockings on that it felt really fun. I'm like, yeah, it's working. <laughs> All these years and years of us being told that men were this and women were that, that were, you know, pre preconditioned to think it's weird, but it's not weird. It's really, they're really just clothes. <laughs> They're pieces of clothing. Like you never know what people want and you never know what they're gonna judge or not judge. So like, you know, the doors are always open for someone like me. I'm never gonna say I've, I've closed the door just because of what I've done.